And welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time we, uh, finished up Maze Island, which is actually the last major side quest in the game. Which is pretty exciting. Uh, this time I wanted to make note of something. I got every treasure that we could reach. Most of them are ship parts and thus are labeled accordingly on the map. But the one that you actually want to make note of is this one in the corner, uh, where the warp point is. Which is actually really convenient, by the way. Um... This one is actually another minute for the sand, the, for the Phantom Hourglass, so it is actually super important. That's all I want to make note of for now. Um, for now, we want to go to this place, the Isle of the Dead. Now, there's that bigger island, which obviously looks like something significant is probably going to be there in the future. But we actually can't do anything there yet, because there's a cyclone as indicated by the map. So for now, we are just going to go to this island. Looks like a face, doesn't it? Cut mail. <laughs> Don't know who that's from, actually. Seems deserted for now, but this place wasn't always empty. Wonder if there's some secrets hidden here or something. I didn't. I think it said something about treasure, but I didn't read that part. How about you, kid? What are you doing? I'll be fixing the ship. Go find yourself some adventure on the island. Will do. What is this letter? I honestly have no clue what this is. Beetle? Oh, duh, because I bought a golden ship part off screen, so I got to be a gold member. So for membership notice, thank you for continuing to support my stores. Hi, it's me, Beetle. Your recent purchase now puts your total of 20. Yeah, for you. Now, uh, thus your membership has been upgraded to silver. Yeah, again. As uh, thanks. Please, please find attached a freebie card. Ooh, free. So now to help us get more gold ship parts. <laughs> That's basically what we're going to use it for. Kind of a self-fulfilling cycle of just getting more stuff to get ship parts with. Um, now, I actually also got to a gold membership, so I'm double-checking. Yep. <laughs> Lots of letters. You got a lot of mail to deal with. I don't think you're supposed to get these back-to-back. -back. Uh, over 50, thus your membership has been upgraded to gold. Please find attached a compliment card. Um, I'm trying to remember if this was in Wind Waker, but I think that it's something like it is in Wind Waker, where basically he just gives you a compliment. I will be showing that at some point, but uh, no word on when. Oh, frick. Uh, before I forget, I also should mail the thing. Want to send a postcard? Thank you for supporting your fine postal system. So yeah, we mailed the thing, so we should be getting uh, rewards before too long. Look, on top of that desk, there's a book there, Link. The journey of the esteemed explorer McNay. Normally on a map, up is north, down to south, right is east, and left is west. Looking at a map, I met, looking at a map today, I discovered the secret of this island. This island is shaped like the profile of someone wearing a crown. He's looking east, and if you look closely, you can see his eye and mouth. I'm betting there's a big secret about the Cobble Kingdom hidden there. I still haven't found the treasure that is supposed to be in this room. Tomorrow, I'm planning to go to the temple on the northeast corner. It's time to prove what I wrote uh, in the article for the Explorer's Compass. There's supposed to be some absurdly cryptic puzzle or trick there. I'll find the Aquanine and show them all. Aquanine, do you think this pure metal is on this island? Well, it's worth looking. There are a bunch of books around. Let's read them. Uh, I'm gonna skim. There's a lot to read. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four nights. That's, that's the takeaway. <laughs> that doesn't help us at all. We knew the Aquanine was here. Proof must be found in the Isle of the Dead to reach the Cobble Kingdom. So that's important. Okay, that's saying Maze Island. So yeah, that really didn't help us at all. Um, put a bomb against this wall somewhere. I'm not sure where the bomb goes, but I guess I put it dead center. Cool. Oh boy. We have a room of root pores. And a keys. Oops. Oops. Well, we got plenty of rupees, at least. Uh, by the way, what I did was actually 
uh, sell off a lot of ship parts uh, off screen. Uh, and also uh, played that. Uh, shoot. I've got the sword, could actually pick up rupees. Uh, and also sold um, treasure that we had. And I also uh, played the island game at Hero Island a few. or the digging game at Hero Island a few times. Uh, basically using like restore points to get like uh, green rupees. A big green rupees consistently. Yes, that is kind of cheap, I fully admit, but uh, it definitely saved a lot of time instead of trying to get up to like um, several thousand, like 7,000 rupees is how much like a gold ship part costs from Beetle. This is a lot. I <laughs> uh, got another treasure map, which we can't actually reach yet because we don't have proof. Uh, and we got another ancient cannon. That's our fourth or fifth in the let's play. Um, sadly, um, it didn't end up being one of the rare items in the predetermined file, so that sucks. Again, stuff like treasures I think are predetermined at the beginning of your save file, uh, so it does really bite that, uh, um, it didn't end up being a rare treasure considering we've gotten so many of them. Here rests the six sages to whom the way to the temple is known. Okay, so I actually know the way, because, yeah, uh, looking at a guidebook is helpful. Um, there's a switch way up there. That's gonna be handy soon. Um, if he eats our shield, that's actually really bad, because there's not really a way to get another shield. Too conveniently. What do you have to say? Nothing. You're not one of the talky skeletons. Okay. That's fine. Um... Oh, there's some puzzle involving digging on this island, involving this stretch right here. Um, I don't quite remember what that actually is, though. <laughs> but yeah, there's some kind of puzzle involving like digging at a specific spot. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Anyway, maybe we have to go to the pyramid first. Maybe there's a hint inside the pyramid. That's a good idea. Hello, what do you have to say? The sacred tree grows from the king's chin, west 13, north 7. Um, path to the graveyard. The resting place of the fourth eye pronounce of the uh, something. Phantom corridor ahead. Those without the way of the six sages are doomed. So yeah, we have a bunch of knights. Um, yeah, four knights with the king, and that was obviously a hint from the last one, I think. So something about the chin. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh. Hmm, is it? I think it's about here. I think it's about here. Because I think, was it, was it 13 and 7? I was, I was kind of zoning out, to be honest. Uh, because, well not that really that I'm zoning out, because I did read it aloud. But, it's just my memory sucks. So, um, yeah, I'm not, oh there it is. So yeah, I was in the ballpark at least. Yeah, it was like 13 and 7, I just didn't count right. <laughs> Very, very much in count right there. Oh, do we want to do this yet? Yeah, we do. Um, I don't think there's any traps here, though I'm probably gonna eat my words. Uh, we got a power gem. That's pretty good. Uh-huh. Break all pots, because we are playing a Zelda game, and it is obligatory. <laughs> all pots. So nothing else we can really do there, but hey, there's this other passage. Um, and rolling rocks, my favorite thing. Watch out for rolling rocks. Uh, yeah, that's actually, the, like, to me, one of my best levels, I'd say. Other than slow execution sometimes with the wall kicks at the very end. And I'm talking about Super Mario 64, by the way. Um, Got a treasure map. Uh, what? What? 
It said something about- oh shoot, I'm an idiot. Um... This shows us the way to, uh, the graveyard. It opens up that, and basically, there are six sages that have left messages on how to actually get through the temple. Uh, apparently they're kind of worn out, so, uh, yeah, have fun. <laughs> So let's check out all of them. Third sage. East in the third room. North in the fourth room. I, th I think the guidebooks are talking about being worn out, but I don't know. They look all pretty legible to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the guy was saying. I might, might have just misread it. Or it just could just be the guy making no sense again. Oh. Well, that one's worn out. That's unfortunate. Okay, so yeah, some are actually worn off. Six Sage. What was that? Uh, the sixth room is where Brant was laid to rest. Okay, cool. Um, well, we're kind of going blind for a couple of them. Oh, well, never mind. East in the second room. Uh, north in the first room. So that's basically all your directions. I hope you were paying attention, because I certainly wasn't. <laughs> um... Of course, I also have guidebooks, so it doesn't really matter, really, does it? Okay, um, this is your obligatory lost maze, or lost woods. So, north in the first room, east in the second room. I really hope you know your cardinal directions. I don't. Um, east through the third room. What do you have to say, actually? I'm curious. Who knew it would come to this? My name is McNay. I was once a famous explorer. I entered before solving the entrance puzzle and came to the Phantom Corridor, and I could not get out. And look what happened. This maze is madness. If you don't know which way to go, you'll end up walking in circles. Circles. If I keep going, I should be able to reach the entrance. If you haven't solved the puzzle yet, find the entrance while you can. Otherwise, you'll end up like me and run out of energy. Before you're able to find the exit, curse to remain here forever. Not well, so much for McNay, I guess. Um... Uh... Who the heck are you? Did I just go in a circle? Or what? Because it says to go east in the third room. Huh. Uh... Or maybe all of them look the same. <laughs> That's probably it. No, north through the fourth and north through the fifth? Okay, that actually was the right solution. It was just tripping me up because McNay is in literally every room. This is where the dead of the Cobble Kingdom long ago lay at rest. I'm one of the four knights chosen by the king. I'm the fourth knight, Brant. The spirits you have with you, they are power, wisdom, and courage, yes? Why are the three spirits of the Ocean King with you? Well, I can't believe that what has happened to the Ocean King while we slept. So that's why you're looking for the Aquanine? We could witch under the Ocean King's protection. We must do something. I believe that King Muto has the Aquanine that you are looking for. If you explain your quest, you may convince him to give it to you. Venture forth through the door. So go through this passageway and we end up in the center of the island. Where we get the Regal Necklace. This mysterious necklace is adorned with curious gems. King Muto, the holder of the Aquanine, is not here. He is on the island that's guarded by Rock Wall, the Isle of Ruins. You'll need that Regal Necklace to get there. That will calm the cyclone at the entrance so that you both may pass. There look for the third knight, Bremure. Got it? Go now, I must return to my slumber. Poor guy. Uh, this reminds me of something, and I really wish I remembered what it reminded me of. Uh, my memory, sometimes. Uh, but like a thing where, um... Where basically, you have a character who's like a ghost, but he's just kind of a ghost because he's like clinging on to something, like one last mission, uh basically help out someone and then thus he fulfills it though I god I can't remember what game that is I know there's like a game or a movie or something with like that kind of 
Like, with a character like that, I don't know which one it is. And I feel like I saw it recently, too. Which is the really frustrating part. Well, looks like you did it. How about we set sail? Well, that was easy. A little mini area before heading off into the wild blue yonder. So, um... Where are we going halfway? I'm gonna... What am I doing? It's... It's faster to warp part way, actually. So yeah, we actually finished up at the Isle of the Dead. Cheery place, isn't it? Um, and thus, we... are actually good to go for getting into, um... The Isle of Ruins. In the next episode, of course, because obviously we're gonna run into Jolene, and that's gonna be a whole hairy procedure trying to fight her. And I've already fought her like five or six times off screen, so the battles are actually. Well, I mean, they're never terribly difficult, but they are definitely a lot tougher now. Unless she just goes right. Oh. As I was about to say, unless she goes right past us, which would have been actually rather lovely, to be honest. Oh, we could just dodge her. That, that's the other option. Yay, concentration mode. <laughs> Activate. Yeah, it's all timing. And it really sucks when your momentum is killed like this. Did you see that kid? The cyclone, it just vanished. Guess the story about that necklace opening the way was true after all. Uh, well, <laughs> um, I was not too surprised I got hit that time because of, uh, the weird pause because of the cutscene. I like having the camera kind of diagonal when dodging these because, well, uh, you have a decent field of vision, uh, for, you know, behind you, but also you have a certain amount of depth, ver uh, sideways as well. And oh boy, the Isle of Ruin is kind of complicated. What a weirdly shaped island. This just can't be natural. I think it's safe to say that this is the Cobble Kingdom. Well, so much for the next episode because we're already here. I thought we'd be ambushed and I'd have to end off the episode. But hey, we are actually at the Isle of Ruin. Pretty cool. Oh, hello, you used enemy. Why the heck is this guy here? Real question, why the heck is he here? He has no business being at the Isle of Ruin, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, also, I don't have any fairies equipped, and the reason is because, like, other than stunning phantoms, I find double damage a little bit unnecessary in this game. Uh, other than like speeding up things, but that's not usually not that big of an issue. Um, hello, what do you have to say, Mr. Stone Tablet? To those with power, the path to the kingdom will bring glory. Path to the kingdom, huh? So we can finally go deeper into the island. I think he said that we should find uh, see the third night premiere, right? That's what he said. I don't mean like the saying. I mean that's that's actually what he said. Um. But where the heck is Premier? Oh boy. This is not a part of the game I actually remember, by the way. I think we have to manipulate the water levels too, which is always my favorite mechanic, sarcasm. Um, just because it gets a little bit, like, mind-boggling. Oh yeah, by the way, I hope you like like-likes because... You're gonna have to be dealing with a lot of them, so I suggest having bombs equipped, uh, just in case, at all times. That's obviously not a, like, a, a rupee. Or it actually is a rupee, okay, cool. <laughs> um, thanks for proving me wrong, game, but, uh, that is a like like. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass.